Hey everybody, Trick and Ale here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to change the oil in this Yamaha 350 Wolverine 4x4. Four, four four. Uh, I pulled up the specs on it and ordered an oil changing kit. I don't know if you can see this, the glare is pretty bad. Got a Yamaha oil filter. Calls for, I think, 2.3 quarts of oil, but it gave me 4 quarts, so that's good. I don't think I'll ever use 4, but it's a Yamaha 10W40 and it's for wet clutch. So that's what they say you got to have. It also comes with two O-rings. One of them I just dropped under here. A little black one here, and then a little like an orange, brownish one or whatever. So they fit with the oil filter. The tools I'm gonna need is I found out it takes this little Allen head right here. So. I got this little ratchet with an Allen head on it, and uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Oil pan, oil filter. So uh, anyhow, got the, the little dipstick already pulled out. So y'all stay, y'all stay with me. Let's get started. I'm gonna bring y'all in for a little closer look to see if I can show you what I'm talking about. This here is the little cooling system right here. So it's got three, three little Allen bolts on here. So you take this whole apparatus loose and then the oil filter's behind there and then it'll drain right on out. So I'm gonna bring you in here the best I can with a camera and set it up, show you how we do it. I went ahead and pre-loosened these because this camera is set up pretty shaky and I didn't want to knock it off. There's two. Third one's right here. So, see if I can't finger, get them uh, finger loose now. I got about three different little app you know little extensions put together here to make this work because i didn't i'm not a hardware store so i don't have everything i'll cut you back on when i get that off See, it's got all kinds of crap. Huh. So it definitely needs it. I was trying to think. It's probably been four or five years since I've done this. I, I add oil and drain oil, but since I've changed this filter, anyway, it's messy. It ain't got much in there. I don't know what they're talking about. Two and three quarts. We'll see. So basically, I got the new filter here. I'm gonna put it in there and then I already put this little rubber seal in there. I'll see if I can show you what I did. See that 
orange rubber sealer I put in. I just replaced it. It wasn't even nothing wrong with it, but I did it anyway. So the filter's going to go up in there. So I spared y'all the agony of me putting these bolts in as you can't hardly get to everything. So now I'm just going to tighten them up. I where I can get to it. Just snug them. I'm sure there's a torque you do on these, but I don't have any torque specs, so whatever. Let's see if I can get in here to get this one. That's good enough. Get it out of there. We got one more. Nothing like being able to see, huh? Alright, that's good. Check this one more time right here. All right. One more time on that one. Okay. Court number two. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap this little project up. Uh, you know, I'm always real honest with everybody uh, on how things go. When I originally researched this on how many quarts it held, it said it held 2.3 quarts. So I bought a kit that had four quarts, the little oil filter, and uh, that was that. So obviously we changed the oil. When I put oil back in it, I bet you I only got, I definitely got one quart in there, but maybe a, another third of another quart. So I was like, wow, only a, a one and a third quarts, and it's calling for more than that. Anyway, I, I ran it for a while and let it warm up. All was black as can be, and you saw all that grime that come off that filter. So my thoughts were, it's got sludge and all, I bet you, in the bottom of that block of that engine. So anyway, I thought, man, that was a useless oil change, in my opinion. So what I did is I ran it for a while, got it churned up really really good and looked at it again in the dipstick and it was super black so uh this time instead of draining it like i did and that's how it, sh it shows you to drain it you take the the little apparatus off the cooling apparatus and let it drain out of the oil filter well i didn't do that this time i took the dipstick out and i turned that thing over all the way on its side i mean and all kinds of oil come out of it then black gnarly stuff so drained it completely bone dry the best i could much more than it did with that other oil change anyway had plenty of oil left wind up putting uh three quarts in it if you can believe that so i'm hoping when we run into that second cycle it flushed out all that sludge and everything and truth be told i probably need to change it one more time in another 
whatever, however many hours to get the rest of it out. So I'm sure the new oil filter I put in there is probably sludged up too. But anyway, that's the whole story on it. So, but at least you know how to change the oil filter on it if you're going to do it, if you have one of these four-wheelers. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. Please like and subscribe to the channel. God bless each and every one of you. And I'm Trent Gunnell saying so long, everybody, from the Peach State of Georgia.